Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite. My name is Dershin, and I'm one of the product managers at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. Can I set up rules for automating alerts and taking repetitive actions? Let's take a look at the demo. So let's first take a look at where the alerts are delivered. All the essential alerts are delivered to a single pane called the Alert Center. And to get to this, you navigate to it from the admin homepage, click on the upper left-hand navigation, select Security and Alert Center. And here you'll see a variety of different alerts that Google automatically runs and detects and gives you notifications on. Most of these fall into three key categories. One is around Gmail safety, so we're looking for phishing, malware, and spam messages. We do things such as give you notifications around user-reported spam and phishing, as well as post-delivery reclassification messages. We also have several alerts looking at account security to help you know when accounts have been suspended for suspicious activity, as well as mobile device management suspicious activity alerts. Another one is the leaked password, where we look to see if your user credentials have been posted publicly on any site. So now let's dig into one of these examples, and we're going to open up the phishing message detected post delivery. Here you can see several different pieces of detail. One, it's saying that Google detected and reclassified one message, and if it was unopened, we moved it automatically to the recipients, out of the recipient's inbox. If the user has interacted with it, it will remain in their inbox, and this notification will help you know to go and remove that manually. There's other information here, such as related alerts lower on, where you can see more details on why that alert might have occurred, and also if there was anything that happened afterwards, such as data exfiltration. Now let's think about how do we create our own custom rule and set up our own repetitive action remediation steps. So we're going to go to the activity rule section. So we'll click on the navigation again. Under security, select activity rules. And we're going to select something similar to this alert with more actions taken. So now we're going to go into the upper right-hand corner, click Add New Rule. We're going to give it a rule name. So let's say this is Late Spam Reclassification. Rule. OK. And now we're going to click on Next. And here you can select your data source. So for rules, you have several different data sources you can pick from. Device logs, Drive, Gmail, and User. In this case, let's go to Gmail log events. And you're going to select an event. And again, there are several choices of different type of events you can monitor to create your custom rule. And for each data source, they will also have different events there. So in this case, we want to do late spam classification. And this is where Google detects that a message was spam, phishing, or malware after it was delivered and reclassifies it. So we want to create a rule for this, and we're going to hit Add Action now. And first, you're going to get a great little preview about the type of results you should expect. And this will help you determine whether you've set up the right rule or not. Here we see that uh, there will be some instances over the past month and there was a spike that was under 40. This looks like a pretty good rule that's not going to be too noisy. So now we'll scroll down and look at the threshold. And here it's going to trigger every 24 hours when the count is greater than zero. That looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and see what action options we have. So I'm going to click on Add Action and Select Action. So here we have several Gmail-specific actions we can take. And in this case, let's automatically move these to the quarantine state uh, when these messages are reclassified and make it so the users are less likely to interact with them again. We can also turn on an alert that will get delivered in the Alert Center as we saw earlier. We can determine the uh, severity of this. So these look like uh, these will be pretty important. So let's pick high. And we can pick the admins that we want to receive these email no notifications associated with the alerts. Let's go ahead and select all super admins. And now we'll hit Next to review the rule. And we can see all the details we just selected. Everything looks great. And now let's create the rule. 
So within a few easy steps, we have gone through the process of creating a custom rule and adding automatic actions to make it easier to remediate and create the notification for us to be aware of it, both in the Alert Center and through the email. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts. Mm -hmm.